Welcome to Bahamas Educational Express Science Lesson video. In this lesson, we are going to learn about insects and spiders. In this lesson, you will be able to identify the main traits of insects and spiders, compare traits of insects and spiders. Now, here are some pictures of insects and spiders. Can you identify some of them? Yes, you have the crab, the mosquito, the scorpion, the praying mantis. We have the flea and also the spider. Invertebrates are animals without a backbone. Most invertebrates have exoskeletons. An exoskeleton is a hard outer covering that protects an animal's body and it gives it support. Insects and spiders are invertebrate and they belong to a group called the arthropods. Insects have three body segments. And these are the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. Those are the three parts insects are divided into. Their body is divided into. Now, apart from the three sections or segments, they also have the antenna the eyes, the legs, the wings, okay? The antenna is right at the top of the head, almost where the eyes are. While insects have three body segments, spiders, on the other hand, only have two. And these are the head, and the abdomen. Spiders have eight legs while insects have six legs. Now, can you name the body parts of the spider? Pause the video and see if you can get them. How many? Let's see. We have the head, we have the abdomen. So there are two body segments. Can you name the body parts or segment of the spider? Let's see. Pause the video. Okay. We have the head, we have the thorax, and we have the abdomen. So there are three. So spiders have three body segments or parts, and insects have two body segments or parts. This has been your lesson on insects and spiders.